Hi, um, my name's Scott Slater. <coughs> I'm your Deputy Resuscitation Services Manager for Sherwood Forest Hospitals Trust. I've worked for the Trust for coming up to 15 years now. I trained as a qualified nurse here three years prior to that. My job entails a lot of work with people across the whole organisation, which is three hospitals spanning a total of 20 miles. Um, we provide training and education around resuscitation. We provide clinical support at emergency events like cardiac arrests. We provide pastoral support for staff who have taken part in such events and it may have been the first time they've come across something like that or the first time they've been involved with a patient death and trying to support those staff in regaining their confidence. Um, we have a role in looking at what's happened in the run-up to those events and what we as an organisation can learn from those and try and improve to help keep patients safer in the future. What I really enjoy about my job, I get to work with a lot of different people. Um, it's no longer a clinical job per se, so I am a trained nurse. I qualified, as I said, in 2005 after leaving school with 11 GCSEs and three A-levels. I went on to do a three-year diploma in nursing. Um, that would equate now to uh, a bachelor's in nursing for those of you that would be interested in the future. It's been hard moving away from a clinical job, but what I see now is an ability to make a change, not just at a single patient bedside, but across a whole organisation to support and enable a lot of my colleagues to change things for their individual patients. So one change that I can put in place with my team can affect lots of people in a fairly short space of time and hopefully improve the care that we're able to deliver as a consequence. Um, in terms of qualities for a role like mine, it's really important to be able to engage with different groups of people. So that might be from one day delivering training sessions for a group of consultants to another day um, giving one-to-one -one training for a member of the public, a concerned parent whose child has been ill on one of our wards and they can be very, very different forums to communicate in with different language and different approach. So being able to adapt my communication is important. People skills, so being able to read other people's moods and their reactions to situations can help me support people in different clinical environments, but also in different classroom situations. If you can pick up that somebody is struggling without them having to acknowledge it, sometimes it can enable you to adapt your approach to better support that person without them feeling singled out or embarrassed about that. In terms of clinical skills, things like cannulation, so learning to put needles into veins, draw blood, be able to do CPR, use things like defibrillators are all essential skills for a role like mine. Um, but also more importantly, some of the non-clinical skills, so an understanding of why things go wrong and that it's important to build a system that recognises its own problems and that sometimes when things go wrong the problems are in the system rather than with the people that have actually been involved in that area and allowing us to investigate deeply into those issues and try and change the root cause of the problem rather than make people feel singled out is, is essential and something that's a really important change that's being driven in the NHS at the moment.